It's a vintage year for wine in our area. Wow, the uh, dry, hot summer wreaked havoc on many crops. It was perfect for growing the vines. The best, according to the vineyards in decades. 69 News reporter Bo Colt now gives us a taste of what's to come. For Clover Hill Vineyard and Winery and neighboring Vinecrest, this is a fall harvest to savor. When we spoke in the end of May, did you expect to have this good of a year? You never know. It, at the beginning of the season, you have no idea what hand you're going to get dealt. Since our May visit with Carrie Scripp of Clover Hill and Sam Landis of Vinecrest, Mother Nature has taken them on a spectacular ride. As grapes are removed from vineyards with flair this year, packed into a loading truck, then crushed, destemmed, and drained, all with the anticipation of a future celebration. Run out of superlatives to describe it. It's just a once in a generation year. As the dry, hot, relatively low humidity summer, plus a dramatic drop in spotted lantern flies, the perfect growing conditions for grapevines that don't need a lot of water flourished this year not only in quantity, as Scripp has 30% more grapes, but quality too. It's the best she's seen in 30 years. What happens in a drier year is the sugars really intensify, the flavors intensify, and you don't have any water that's diluting those flavors or sugars. And the taste of what's to come couldn't arrive at a better time, as COVID, supply chain issues, and inflation have left a sour taste for many PA wineries. We can be more creative. We can actually do different blends. We can make more of something, less of something. We have choices. And really the last three years, you know, from a winemaker's perspective, we just didn't have a lot of choice. And whether it's a bottle of red or a bottle of white. But the big question is the taste. What's the taste? The, the, uh, the like taste will be years? amazing. It's a season to toast to. Bo Colt now, 69 News. All right, sounds good.